Okay, so um, we're going to show you guys how to engrave using Surmark Metal Laser Marking Spray. Um, so the supplies that you're going to need for this is obviously the Surmark. This is LMM 6000. It comes in an aerosol can like this. You could buy it, um, I believe, from uh, JDS or uh, I think you can buy it online on Amazon as well. But anyway. You're obviously going to need the spray. You're going to need whatever you are going to be spraying onto. For this, we're using a stainless steel bottle opener like this that we got also off of Amazon. You're going to need alcohol and you're going to need some sort of uh, cotton. Cotton balls, cotton swipes, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean your substrate. You want to make sure that whatever material you are engraving onto is free of any um, oils that will actually keep your surmark from adhering to the surface properly. So yeah, first thing you want to do is get your little cotton ball or whatever it is and your rubbing alcohol and you just want to wipe the surface down and make sure that it uh, fully dries. If you're doing both sides, I mean, I recommend doing um, I recommend doing one side at a time. I don't recommend spraying obviously one side and then just flipping it and doing the other. If I do a run of these, I'll do like ten, and I'll do all one side first, clean them off, come back outside, clean them um, with alcohol on the other side, and then spray all those at once too. So you know, once this dries, you can see it's nice and dry. So the key to Surmark that I found is that you want to do a light coverage on it. You don't want to like super saturate your, your piece with uh, the Surmark. If you do, it actually makes it a little bit harder for the laser to mark onto your piece. So just make sure that your can obviously is spraying. And then just kind of quickly light passes until it's fully covered. And I know that that probably seems like I did a lot, but I'm running low. I don't have much Surmark in here. Yeah. And then you want to wait until that is fully dried before you bring it inside. And you can tell when it's dry because it kind of starts to look like a, like clay when it dries. That's the best way to describe it. When it's first wet, like it is now, there's definitely like a glossy sheen to it. But as soon as it's fully dry, um, it'll actually look like a matte uh, texture to it. Ta-da! The end.